I, I think I couldn't bear my life without working. Now, for, for one thing, is it, once I've got a brush in my hand, and I've been doing it for 75 years or something ridiculous, it's infinitely amusing and entertaining. I, 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 you know, you would think that I, I don't know how to do it. The things that appear on the canvas are always surprising. 999 times out of a thousand, they're totally inadequate. To try and go on and make them better because one's so ashamed of what one's done. One works out of dissatisfaction and the, and the actual game, and there's so many considerations, they're endless. The, the material itself plays up. The colors do um, funny things. You, you notice new configurations, new idioms. It's just, it's infinite. I mean, I've heard other painters who, if you ask them, they actually tell you what they're going to do with the painting. I can't, I pick up the brush and look at the bloody thing and uh, see how I can either, uh, quite often take it off completely, how I can try to get something better. One works out of dissatisfaction. And uh, if I sat around and waited for inspiration, I don't know what I would do. But since I keep doing terrible paintings, I want to go back to the easel and try to make them better because it's so shaming. I think Leon might have well have said the same thing. I think Francis Bacon might well have said the same thing. You paint and you paint and then suddenly you do something out of impatience so that each one is finished in a di different mood, different situation, different reaction. But suddenly you do something and suddenly there's something that you don't recognize and it seems to you to have a bit of quality and that stands up for itself. It's got nothing to do with you anymore. And afterwards, as you look back, you find that you shouldn't have let it go after all, but I mean, that's the situation. For me, it's very, very important that I get to know my subject intimately, not for any sentimental reasons, but simply because uh, th there are various elements. One is that uh, if you work from somebody you know, the sort of self-consciousness, the, their awareness of the situation, that is that they're sitting for you and you're painting, one, one takes it for granted, so that one can concentrate absolutely on what one's doing. The other is that the better you know somebody, uh, the more things you see about them. Firstly, you know exactly whether it looks like or not, and secondly, you notice configurations and unfamiliar connections that you hadn't noticed before and that seemed to you to be interesting. And it, it, from the painter's point of view, whether you do it by uh, uh, immersion in the sense, in the way that Bonnet painted water lilies, and you also knew them very well, uh, or whether you do it by personal relationships, it, it helps, I think it helps, it simply helps what we're all about, that is the actual work. If you have a more precise and demanding sense of uh, whether it feels like the truth or not. I remember the people through the drawings when I see them, except myself. I, I, I've been working for myself for the past three or years or so, and it never occurred to me for a moment to think of myself as a person or what I feel like or look like. I'm just drawing, and to my surprise and pleasure is that it, it's totally infinite. Every time I see this thing, I see new uh, 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 possibilities in all sorts of ranges, you know, where it's put, what colours it is when I'm painting, uh, 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 what part, what units the, the set of forms is made out of. It's new every single time. And I th in a sense, it's, uh, of course, all good painting is abstract. It's uh, only non-figurative painting, it's only abstract painting with fewer elements. 
and it, it, it just it, it, the, my, my head is a is a source of abstract sensations which give me ideas for forms that for the moment I try to work towards and the results are always something that I absolutely haven't predicted and that has simply happened and which is when I sometimes leave them because I do, I, it, it, it's, it's a surprise. I mean, one of the great things about painting is it's t totally erroneous to make comparison between the different arts. Painting in many ways is, seems more like physical research to me. You go round and round your material until you come to uh, find a new conclusion. But uh, in, the, in the 10 years in which these drawings and paintings were done, uh, I, looking back, I don't feel I could have possibly done any more. I had a, a hectic and exciting life. I worked all the time. I didn't let anything out until it hit the buffers, until I felt I couldn't go push it any further. In the times past, I hope there it been, it's been up and down, and I've, one always feels one's coming off the tightrope. But I think there have been periods in looking back where I have a sort of unease that I could have been more courageous, pushed it further. But in, in those years, everything that I let out hit my limits, which does not mean that I worked in the stratosphere in which Titian or Michelangelo or Matisse or Monet or Cezanne have worked. But it, I, I think it does mean, for me, looking back onto this young man who has very little connection with me, that I did all that I was able to do. I don't feel any dissatisfaction there.